Hey guys, Papa Dan here. How's everybody doing today? Hey, the first thing I want to do real quick is I want to thank everybody that uh, responded to my video yesterday on my uh, stash sale. And that was really awesome. I really appreciated everybody. And you really helped me out a bunch. So I, I thank you all very, very much. Now, let's get to the real reason for this video. Got the big guy done. Well, almost done. Close enough to done. This is the big guy. And uh, I'm really happy with it. The, the kit is just, these Bandai kits are just absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. I cannot say enough good about them. I mean, everything went went together exactly the way it should go together. So, as far as the paint job on it goes, that's another story. Um, I'm not real happy with all the red. Um, it didn't turn out quite the way I expected it to, what I thought it was going to. I mean, it's not bad, you know, but I... I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make the diorama just like I said I was going to. Um, and once I get it done, and I might take it to a show or two, I don't think it's going to be done by JaxCon though, because I'm having some trouble finding some of the things that I need for the diorama and see what kind of a response I get. And then I'll go from there. But I'm thinking I may take the armor off of him which is the red and repaint that and maybe go with two colors maybe three colors um, it's, I'm just not real happy with it being all red the way it is so the skeleton part of it or the exoskeleton whatever you want to call it the, me the mechanical part of them and everything that I'm real pleased with how that came out um, the dry brushing and everything on that came out really, really great. So, all right, let me, uh, I'm going to try and do this from this camera angle. Well, before I, before I do that, I'll show you his, now the weapons that he comes with, I don't have completed yet. I still have to paint and detail these, but this is his. His rifle, his laser cannon, I think they call it. But that's uh, that's all built. It just needs to be uh, it just needs to be painted and detailed and everything. And that kind of flips around to either side, so you can pose them with it. So that's the rifle. He comes with these little knives here. He comes with two of these, and these fold up. And I'll show you where they he hold where they go on him here in just a second. So I got those to do, and then this is the big the bad guy. I mean, this sucker's huge, but that unfolds like so. But yeah, that, that thing is huge. And I still got to paint and detail the handle here yet. So, but yeah, that thing is cool. This, this is going to be definitely part of the diorama. This and the laser cannon. Then he also comes with a, a shield. Um... And again, it's just, I don't have any decals on anything yet because uh, I figured if I am going to repaint them, then, you know, I don't really want to waste the decals. So I'm holding off on putting the decals on anything. But that's the shield and that comes up so that it can uh, attach to him or he can hold it. And then what's really cool, one of the gimmicks, as they call it, this little button right here 
I'll show you what that does. If you see, you can see through the, the shield right here. There's actually a piece of glass in the shield there. And you flip that little button up. And it closes off that shield, huh? Pretty cool. Can't shoot what you can't see, right? <laughs> so, all right, now, let me slide these out of the way here. And I'll see if I can bring him up closer and start showing you some of the cool things that he actually does. One of the first things I want to show you is his hands. Um, his hands are just way cool. Each finger is individually jointed. Let me get my fingers out of the way here. I don't know if I can do this with anything else to really show you, but each finger is individually jointed and they're also joined like at the knuckles like our hands are so you can actually curve his fingers to hold on to stuff when you put him in the poses and that includes his thumb so I mean it's just and these come molded on the sprue already. You don't have to assemble these fingers. Um, and right now I'd like to give a shout out to Wayne over at Winkster's Workshop. Uh, he, get, he helped me out a bunch when it came to cutting out these hands because they come on a double sprue or a double runner what, however you want to call it. Um, this is this is the sprue that the hands came on. And if you can see that, it, it's doubled. And there's like a front side and a back side to it. And with these fingers being as small as they are and being attached some of them to the front side some of them to the back side um, it's a little nerve-wracking <laughs> uh, cutting them off of here but Wayne walked me through it uh, we were texting the other night and he walked me through it and I didn't have any problems with it at all really so uh, thank, thank you again, Wayne. Uh, that that was awesome, buddy. So, anyways, that's the uh, that's the hands. And let me back this up here a little bit. Now, on the side right here, that opens up, and that's where the uh, that's where the knives will go after I get them detailed up. They go in there, something like that. Well, something like that, and then get closed up in there. Maybe I'll put it in upside down. Yeah, that didn't work either. Anyways, that's where the knives will go, is inside of there. There's one on each side of that, and then... I showed you already where the the panels open here just so you can kind of see some of the detail on them and I hope this is all on screen because I haven't really been watching the screen sorry about that um, then the other thing I wanted to show you which is pretty cool and I'm afraid my hands gonna have to get in the way for this but This piece right here opens up like so and then down in there and I'm not going to try and get it out because I that's kind of a 
a bit of a hassle. But if you can see right in there, that's where your pilot is at. And there is actually a pilot in there. Um, you can probably just see the pilot's legs because of the computer screen or monitor or whatever um, is actually down in front of them. But this will, that whole assembly in there will slide out and the screen pops up and then you can see the pilot that's in there. So that's actually pretty cool. And I'll have, I'll have pictures at the end of the, at the end of the video here to show you that. Um, so one other thing I want to show you, but I got to turn off the lights so that I can do this. And so I'll be right back. Alrighty, we're back. And let me get him where you can, yeah, this isn't working so good. His eyes and his camera here up on top light up. It's the first model that I've had that actually lights up. And that all came with the kit. I mean, it's not like I did anything extra to it, but it came with the kit and you just had to build it into it. So I thought that was really cool. I really, really like that. And then the uh, the switch form is right back here. You just take the the back of his helmet off and the switch for it is right there. And then his uh, his helmet just slides back on there like so. So, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Alrighty, guys. Well, he's got a few other things that uh, that he that he does, um, but you'll see them. One of the things here, I forgot to show you this little panel down here. Back it up so you can see it. These little panels here on both legs raise up so that you can see the detail underneath them. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll actually put him in a few poses and take pictures of it. Um, and then I'll attach the pictures right to the end. I have a little slideshow here right at the end of the video. So anyways, the big guy's done. Uh, I'm going to move on to his... Uh, to the jet now that came with them, the Star Grasper, and I've actually got that started. So, but I'll give you I'll give you updates on this one here in a bit. So, anyways, tell me what you think of the big guy. I had a ball building them, and I do believe you're going to see more Gundams on. Papa Dan's models too. These things are just too much fun. Uh, I, I had a ball with this thing. So anyways guys, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you all later. Bye.